video to show you how to complete a story map. First of all, you need to be familiar with the story of the wind in the willows. And then you're going to break that story down into five boxes and put the pictures on a story map. Your story map will look like this and for year two there will be an extra box on there as well. When you've put your pictures on, you've broken down the story, you then make notes about each picture. And then finally, you're going to change some elements of the story. So I'm going to do that for you now. To save time, I've already put the story in the box. I've broken it down and I've put one in each box. So this is my opening box here. This is where you introduce the characters and the setting of your story. So Mr. Toad, Ratty and Mole were friends. They went for a ride in Toad's caravan. Suddenly a car zoomed past, knocking them all over. They fell over. Boop, boop, said Toad. I want a car. So here I'm just going to write notes. I'm not going to write in sentences. I'm going to write words to remind me what's happening in that picture. So I'm going to write the names of the characters. Mr. Toad, Ratty and Mole. I'm also going to write the word caravan, fast car, caravan, fast car. And then I'm going to write boop boop, said Toad. So those words are going to be useful for when I write my story next week. So that's box number one. In my second box, it's showing Toad bought a new car, a new shiny car. But he drove it too fast and he crashed it. So his friends got a little bit fed up and they said, No, Toad, no more cars. You are too dangerous. So, of course, Toad was grumpy with his friends. I'm going to write some words on there now to remind me of that part of the story. I'm going to write, Toad bought a shiny new car. Now, that's a sentence. Okay, it's okay to write sentences, it's okay to write notes. Toad bought a shiny new car. And do you remember his friend said, no Toad, no more cars. So I'm going to write, no more cars. And you should remember it was his friends who said, no more cars Toad. Toad was cross with his friends because he wanted a car. And they said no, but he wanted one. So he decided to steal a car. But as we all know, if you steal something, there's always a consequence. There was a consequence for Mr. Toad. He was sent to prison. This is a picture here. This is a picture here of Mr. Toad in prison. So to remind me, I'm going to write here, stole a car, and I'm going to write toad in prison, toad in prison. Or you could write jail if you wanted, it means the same thing, okay? He was sorry though when he was in prison, very sorry. And he missed his friends too. So, Toad 
came up with a plan. And that's this picture here. That's a part of the story where Toad dressed up as a washerwoman and escaped out of the window. So I'm going to write some notes under there to remind me what's happening. So Toad had a plan. And I'm just going to write underneath washerwoman and it will remind me that I need to include that in my story next week. I'm also going to write the word escaped because that was Toad's plan. He escaped. So in my final box, this is where the story closes. And this is where I've drawn a picture of all the friends together. Because they had forgiven, Toad's friends had forgiven him. And so they celebrated with a party at Toad's house, Toad Hall. So here, I'm just going to write some notes to remind me of that part of the story. And I'm just going to write party, Toad, Hall. So when I look at this next week, I know what's happening in my story. This is a story map. It flows from one part of the story to another. I have got some words in note form, one or two sentences too, to remind me and then I can use that next week. I said at the beginning, I would like you to change some elements of the story and that's what I'm going to do now. I have decided that I'm going to change two elements. I'm going to change one character to start with and I'm going to change it from Mr. Toad to Mr. Squirrel. So I'm going to look for the word Mr. Toad and I'm going to write Mr. Squirrel above it in a different colour pen. So everywhere I've written toad, I need to now go and write squirrel in my different colour pen. Up here, where you need to be a detective and spot the word toad and change it for a squirrel if you are changing the character or a character. Now, it's up to you what parts you change. The other part I'm going to change is the car. I'm going to change it to a gleaming, speeding motorbike. So there it is. And I'm going to write motor bike. Now, I've done it in a different colour. It's just to remind me so it shows up. So now I've got the beginning of a story that I could write next week. I've got the beginning, I've got a change of character, I've got a change of vehicle, then I've got a problem, I've got a resolution to the problem, and finally, I've got the closing part of the story. So, this does not need to be done all in one day. It'd be really good if you took two or three days to do all this, slow down, and really think about the different parts of the story and then write your notes to go with it.